Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm making videos based on your comments. So I've got one from Matthew here. Please do make some SEP tutorials for Illustrator. So I got some art here and let's do that. At this art, I'm gonna wanna do a blue, a white, a gray, a red, and a black. So first thing you wanna do is grab your white. So you're gonna grab the white arrow here and click on the white. And then you're gonna to go to select same fill color. Grab that fill and make a new color swatch. Then double click on it and change it to white. And we wanna make it visible so we're going to change this to, let's say, green. And then we're going to make it a spot color. Click OK. And we're going to do the same for each of our other colors. So we're going to go to select same fill color on the gray. Drag it down here. Double click it change it to gray, spot color. This one, all the rest of the colors we can leave as is. Click OK. You know, you know it's a correct spot color when it has this little dot in the corner here. Okay, we got a couple more to go. Let's do the red. Select same fill color. Drag this down red spot color and then we have our blue select the same fill color drag it down here change it to spot color name it blue and then our black select the same fill color drag it down here Change this to spot color, name it black. Now the rest of it, let's say this is going on an orange shirt. So all of this distress on here will be shirt color and inside here will be shirt color as well. So we can take the orange here and we can go select same fill color. And to make it shirt color, we're gonna make it this swatch here, which it says white. This is actually shirt color. Okay. And then we can grab this distress, select same fill color, and make that the same as well. So this is our basic separation, not including our underbase. So now what you want to do is you want to add your registration marks and your labels. So we'll go ahead and find where our center line is. We'll open up our registration mark. And we'll place it on the top and bottom center. If you don't already have a registration mark, all a registration mark is, is a circle with a line through it where the outline is colored in registration color, which is this swatch right here. So you can make your registration mark however you want as long as it's registration color. So it's that with um, two lines going this way and this way. Okay. So now we're going to make our labels, starting with number two, because number one is going to be our underbase. So we're going to go number two, and let's go gray. We're going to add these over here by the registration mark. Blue. 
Let's go with our white. Two, three, four, five, six will be black. So you want to make a, a separate text for each color so that you can click on each one by itself and color them with the same spot color that you made. So the gray will be this color, the red will be this color, the blue will be this color, the white will be this one, and the black will be this one. Okay. Then we're going to name this one, we're going to save it. So let's go, let's name this one SEPS. Now we're going to check our separation to make sure everything is correct. So we're going to print it. And I don't have a RIP software on here, so I'm going to choose a PostScript file just to show you guys that under Output, you're going to choose Separations under Mode. And what should happen here is you should have a print icon next to all five colors. And you should have no print icon on cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Right here, see there's nothing here. So, if there was a print icon on one of these areas here, you have to find the color that you missed and make it a spot color. But right now we have our five, so we're going to save that. And now we're going to make our underbase. So we're going to go to Save As Base. Now this is a separate file. And so how I want to do the underbase is I want to have underbase under all the colors except for black and the red. Because the red can sit directly on the shirt. So to do that, you want to take your white channel and we'll rename this base. And we don't want base in the black, so we're going to do the same thing, select same fill color, and we're going to make it shirt color. We're going to take the gray, select same fill color, and make it base. The blue, select same fill color, base. And the red, we don't want that on the base. So select same fill color, shirt color. Now we're going to make a new swatch up here called number one, base white. We're going to move it down here, color it base, take all of these, color them shirt. So now we have an underbase that is perfectly aligned because of the registration marks with the rest of the colors. If we go to print under output, under output you're going to go to separations and you should only see base and a printer icon. That means you've done everything correctly. Save it and that's it. So there's an illustrator separation from start to finish. You got a six color job. And uh, let's take a look at the original. So you've got six colors. You've got your underbase, your gray, your blue, your red, your top white, and then your black. As you can see here, there's not going to be any underbase under this red because we don't need that to be bright. We want that to be more tonal. And there's no color in this distress here so it'll have that vintage look okay so that's about it thanks for watching this video if you would like me to make a video on some other type of separation please let me know in the comments and we'll catch you in the next video see ya